Okay guys, I'm going to make an interesting video and compile a lot of stocks all in at once and I'm going to talk about some of my favorite setups, some of the setups that um, we need to be aware of, be cautious of. So in this video, I know I'm going to give you one of my favorite penny stocks and stocks to look after and how do we actually get precise entries. A lot of people are, um, you know, you're getting in right away or getting in too soon. Try this system out. Um, I think it's very, very nice to know. I call it the band strategy. I use trend channels when we're, when we're not at the ATR4, which is this bottom green here. And um, I'll talk right through it. So first example is Sissy. A lot of people are talking about it. So it's a stock I want to talk about and uh, give an update. For Sissy, we are at a downtrend here. Here's the shortest downtrend that makes the most sense for the most precise entry. With this system, you, you we know we're going to hit the EMA 5, 10, and 20. So keep that in mind. All these three middle bands will get hit no matter what. It doesn't matter what happens is. So what's happening is uh, Sissy had this big up move, right? So then a lot of people gathered on. And when there's a big down move, a lot of people just, you know, go right to this stock without really knowing anything. And just based it on past performance right it was at this price before it drops this much it has to be a good buy and so sissy has been just going down ever since so we know we have to hit the ema 10 and 20 but there's really not that much time distance and if you guys know and been in my discord we want to make sure there's lots of time distance from the ema 10 and then the ema 20 the last time we hit the 10 and 20 was way back in uh, this candle here on July 10th. So we got about 19 days of not hitting it. I look for about one month for EMA 10 and two months for the 20. That is extremely long. We know it has to hit it, so we want to wait for a longer time. For the uh, channel here, you're looking at this. Uh, we have a very, very downtrend channel. You have your bottom here that's respected, and you have your tops here that um, are going to be constantly hit here, here, and then we could try to go down near it. And this is the small trend channel. It's very tight. Uh, you can still make money on it, but with Sissy's uh, rep, uh, reputation, it is a pumper, so we got to, you know, keep this on watch, but uh, let's make sure we get precise entries. I would definitely eye the EMA 10 and 20, maybe two or three weeks down the road, but the EMA 5 is going to get hit very shortly here soon. Um, the next talk is Max Ed. This is one of my favorites. You can write this one down. Um, it is down roughly 9%. The market has been pretty bad today. But as you can see, same thing. But this one is a much better setup because look at the time distance on this one, guys. We have not hit the EMA 20 and the EMA 10 for quite some time here. The EMA 20 is at 529, the last touch. The current touch is, uh, uh, current data is 729. That's your two month mark. That's when you look to get in for the EMA 20 touch. This could have an explosive move up. This is one of my favorites. If you draw the most you know, accurate trend channel. It is a little trend channel in here. You're bouncing up and down through here. So let's wait to get precise entries. Once we hit this bottom trend channel, it's all go for me. I'm buying so many max in. Keep this one on watch, uh, watch because we can hit the EMA 10 at 24 cents. EMA 20 is way up at the 38 cents. It's going to fluctuate, but be expected to hit the 10 and 20 very soon. Moan N is by far my favorite setup. I don't care, you know, I, I know a lot of people are saying dilution. Yes, I get it. But due to every chart, you have to hit the EMA 5, 10, and 20. If you guys know that, it's powerful knowledge. And I've seen very, very extreme situations where, you know, we haven't touched it in a while. This is the mark where we haven't touched it, just like Max N. But the difference between Max N and this one is we are touching an ATR4. And when you hug it like this, it creates an explosive buying pressure power to an explosive move up the explosive move up can easily get to the ema 20 around 170s ema 10 is in the, the 140s and the ema 5 is a conservative 1.20 target i think we get an explosive move up if you're patient you know look at the time distance here on 531 and it's 729 we're getting close to two month mark the difference is we're on atr4 which is this bottom band a lot of the times when you get this uh, bottom band here does that have instantly but when you hit it, you usually get these big explosive moves up. The red band is the sell zone. And you can see many times with Moan, it has been very accurate. When you get close to the bottom band, it has big rallies. This one has made me thousands and thousands of dollars. And uh, as you can see, when you have it touched the 20 in quite some time, like this one right here, you look, you see this big time distance. And then right at the bottom near the ATR4, you accumulate and it explodes way the heck up. All right. 
keep that one on watch. Uh, Hollow is one of the ones that people keep requesting, so I'm going to just show you guys uh, Hollow here, and um, let's zoom all the way in here. For Hollow, same thing. Uh, here, right here, this is why we t have time distance. We haven't hit it so here, so we want to make sure we have some time distance, and we want to make sure there's some room up here, and then what is the trend channel looking at? Last time distance was 6.04, um, current data is 7.29, so we're getting close to, you know, almost 6.04 to 7.04 is one month, and so we're getting there. We're getting very close here, guys. Hollow is a nice setup here. Hollow is down 10% on the day. Let's look for that bottom trend channel, because the last time we did that bottom trend channel, guys, look at the massive move we had. Right in here, big explosive move up. Right in here, explosive move up. Um, right in here, explosive move up, you know, you know, 77 cents all the way to a dollar. These are nice moves, guys. Uh, 90 cents all the way up to a dollar 20, and you can be really be making lots and lots of money on Hollow. So keep Hollow on watch. I do like it for the EMA 20 touch here soon, but I want to see that bottom trend. So far, a lot of people are talking about it is in a short uptrend. As you can see, look at the highs, look at the low, uh, lows and highs. We are respecting it. You know, we're going from $6 all the way to $8. We have earnings coming up on $7.30. I would love to see... You know what happens with SoFi. It's one of the uh, retail's most favorite stocks, and it's just been going here. Not really much happening, but when it goes up, this thing can pump really big. Uh, SoFi, yes, it's in an uptrend. We can see it's starting to develop it, and but the earnings is going to make what's up with it. So EMA 20, as you can see, if it's acting as a base, that is a big indication of uptrend, and the the trend is going up here. We have higher lows. Very nice setup. Uh, GameStop right in here. GameStop is in a nice consolidation pattern. I suspect a big move up any day now. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys here. You had this big move up, and then you come back down to reality, and you're just consolidating forever. This is not a system trade where we hit the ATR4. This is bottom band, or we have time distance of the EMAs. This is just one of those trades. If you really want to make conservative gains, buying GameStop at the lower trend channel is just a really good setup. Same with AMC. I like it even more. And I did take this one on uh, on the trade, and you can see right in here we had the uh, lower lower trend touches. When we had this touch right in here, I knew this was a nice area to buy. And guess what happened? AMC went up over nine percent, and it went up you know nice ten percent solid gains to go back in the channel. Both I like AMC a little more. We have you can clearly see the lower highs here, and um, consolidating up for that big move up. I definitely like those two. TNXP is an interesting one. If you guys like biotech, TNXP is the one. It's very hard, but as you can see, there's plenty of gaps to fill. I have no doubt that we can fill at least one of these gaps right in here. Um, if you look right in here, we have a gap right here at the 78 cents region. I, I have no doubt we can fill that, guys. So let's look into this gap right in here. We don't have to fill all of them, but if it goes there, you know, you're looking from 50 cents all the way to at least uh, 70 cents. That's not a bad gain, right? And the same thing here, um, this is why we wait for time distance. The EMA 20 has a lot of time distance, and the last time we touched it was 524. So current data is 729. So 624, 724, we are due for a run-up. And you can see how we're just consolidating. We're just waiting for this to just explode up. There's so many gaps up in here. One of these will be filled, most likely. TNXP has had some uh, major, major downside. I played this one before. Uh, we did the EMA 5 touches here, as you can see right in here. Make some solid gains, solid gains. We're right at the EMA 5, so not really much to play there. This is only an EMA 20 type play. So keep that one on watch. And like I said, um, and I, all of them have to hit. Alarity just did that 100% move from the lows. As you can see here, we had this massive EMA 20 time distance. Last touch was way back in 502. We will touch the EMA 20s, guys. 502 to 726, kind of like TNXP, you start seeing this ramp up of uh, thing. You have this nice consolidation pattern, and then, you, you know, a little thing to scare people away. You buy it only below EMA5, so this is where you would have bought anyways. And um, also, if you look at the trend channel, we only want to buy what trend channels make sense. So this is the areas to buy. ALLR has just been a nice, uh, solid trade here. And then we finally hit the 20. We knew we had to. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is INM, another big consolidation pattern, a lot of talks. So here's the thing, not kind of like AMC and GME type of trade, know the trend, um, is it consolidation 
and those are usually going to be your big moves. It's right at the EMA 20, so it can make a massive move. Wait for the touch here. I see a lot of people getting in early on this. Wait for the touches, guys. We're just not, we have a big room downside. You know, you can lose about six cents. That could be scary. MLGO, the one that just keeps falling, can never have any gains. It's known as a pumper. Is it finally a buy at 1.56? I, I did um, look into this one before for an EMA 5 touch. It did get it right in here. It had a nice little 20 to 15 uh, 10 to 20 percent gain and then it just kept losing it so mlgo um not really my favorite to be honest i know a lot of people are watching it there's not like insane ema 20 and ema 10 compared to the other ones like the last time we touched the ema 20 was back in 708 you know it's not really a month time frame and you can see why it it's patient to wait for it because you kind of avoid these falling knives let it keep falling and falling and falling and falling until we get you know kind of what are we looking at right if you look at the trend at a very short time frame you can see you know it has some respections right in here. You could have made some money. It goes up and it's a very tight channel here. It's going to sell off at the upper trend. No, no doubt. You know, why did it sell off right in here? And then we would look for a bounce. If it hits this lower trend, yes, I will take it. And I would feel very safe to take it right here at 107. Um, I would take it. I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to get there, but um, it can barely easily hit the EMA 10 here soon because we are due for the EMA 10. The last time it touched it was uh, 705, so we're getting very due. That's about 257 at the EMA 10. Jag X. This one is very interesting. I'll be looking for this um, at the end of the week for a trade. And the reason why is anything that don't touch the EMA 5, which is this purple band and seven daily candles, is extremely long for pennies. We're at one, two, three, four, five. In two more days, we would not have touched the EMA 5. EMA 5 is sitting at 1.68. That is, you know, like a 40% gain from there. Um, it could very well hit it in one day. If it don't, it's going to keep fluctuating. So we definitely want to keep this one on watch. And same thing here. What's your trend looking at um, for the smaller term? I, I just want to see uh, a smaller term trend. I, I don't really care about this. This smaller term trend will tell us since we have enough time distance, we can see that one we're respecting our areas here we have a lows here we have a here we're just bouncing off and down if we want to take this trade i will take it at the bottom trend do a trail stop and see how high i can ride this so around as of this now is 103 is where i would look to get jagex ctnt is the one that probably burned a lot of people i played this way back in the discord and um made some solid gains but what it was definitely not an easy one ctnt kind of like what we're seeing a lot big pumps and big drops a lot of people get re uh, retails get in on these big drops because it's they're like oh it was 14 dollars and it's now like 20 cents right and so a lot of people think it's undervalued well if you look at the trend here um it's clearly bouncing up and down in this solid trend the one thing I do like about CTNT is we haven't touched the EMA 20 in a while. Just like um, all the stocks, they will touch it in two months time frame is when they usually start touching it if it's really long. 520 is the last time we touched it. It is 729. This is at the mark where, holy crap, you know, we're going to start touching this. And this is at 46 cents on the EMA 20. We are getting close to a bottom trend here. Let's see if we can hit this. We got very close. I would get, you know, if it gets anywhere close to it, Put some buys in it and it can very well touch that uh trend and that is it for guys these are the penny stocks i'm watching these are the setups i'm watching if you guys enjoyed the video give it a like subscribe comment and if you want to have this system for yourself and know how to trade and use this system to advantage you're more than welcome to join the discord i have an over 95 percent win ratio um, I don't trade based on fear. I, I am very confident it's because I know where price has to go. If price is hitting an ATR4, which is this lower band for Moan, I know Moan is going to have a big move. This is my highest probability setup. These are the setups I love looking for. I look for this Moan type setup. And just like for, and I'll show you an example of what these setups can do. I traded NAS with the Discord, had it at 1.47. Everyone doubted it. It hit the ATR4. We had some time distance away from the EMA5. We took the trade right in here, and look at the big massive move it had. There's lots and lots of potential. These are the setups that are unfold. Look at this. Had big time distance of the EMA20, and guess what happened? Um, we filled that all in. Price has to do it. It will do it. It's a guarantee, and having that knowledge is powerful knowledge. If you guys want your chart set up like this, get my alerts, entries, and exits with an over 95% win ratio. 
hit the uh, link down below in the YouTube comments and in my description will say join the premium discord for my alerts and system and when you come it'll take you to this free chat landing page head on over to server shop in the top left you'll see swing trading plus and day and swing trading plus the day and swing trading plus is only 12 bucks a month and it is your highest value service i'm telling you you guys are going to love day trading you don't have to worry about overnight holds you can make consistently no joke 20 20 to 50 percent gains a day and it's just insane because you know what price has to do now do that in a smaller time frame we know if we look at a smaller time frame, there's no doubt why on a five minute, why NAS is going to get sold off on here and revert to the reversion to the mean, which is the EMA 20 and make its next decision from here. That's exactly that's exactly what we're doing in a smaller time frame and making massive gains. Try out the day and swing trading plus gives you access to everything. And if you subscribe on the computer, it's only 12 bucks a month um, and you avoid the iOS fee if you subscribe on the phone. So try to do it on a computer. You're going to get access to day trade education, day trade alerts. I just took Tesla puts right here, right when nobody wanted Tesla puts. I took it at 10.02 a.m. Literally at 10.13, I said I'm selling it for a 17% gain. <laughs> it's literally that fast. 17% gain in literally like 10 minutes of trading. You can't beat that. Uh, we have a day trade chat. RTK Journal, you can see the success rate. Um, I try to be very transparent, very, you know, what I'm exactly doing. For Moan, um, you see that's my open trade. You can see all my trades that I've taken. All of them has been a win in the past month, and it's been awesome. Day trades have been absolute fire. This is the money-making machine. As you can see, 17, 17, 17, you know, it's just constantly, constantly, constantly making massive money this tesla would have been a loss if i stuck to my plan i got a little greedy did a lotto and so it's well over 95 percent win ratio with proof with entries and exits you're going to get all that for a very very low cost for 12 bucks a month you can't beat that i promise you you will be profitable and that is a guarantee i can make as long as you follow how i do things uh, watch my videos. I have tons of education, day trade education, swing trade education. You can access all of this and um, be a profitable trader. These are the setups I wanted to talk about. Um, some of the stocks a lot of people are watching. A lot of these things I see, I'm like uh, scratching my head. Why are we buying it there? Try to do this and I promise you, you guys will have very, very good success rates and you will, you will see the chart uncover. No matter how crappy the stock is, when you reach these extreme levels, price will revert to the mean. That's the strategy, is reversion to the mean. You make your, your 10 to 20% gains, you head out, and sometimes you make massive, massive gains when you wake up pre-market or after hours. It just depends. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a like. I would love to see you guys in the Discord. I will transform your trading here. I know you guys can be full-time traders and literally have financial freedom quit your nine to five job doing this particular strat and i'm always updating it i'm always there for you guys i'm going to work my butt off and i'm like i said i'm very confident i don't let emotions get to me because i've been doing this for so long i've seen trades unfold time and time again if you're patient you accumulate properly you and you sell the rips you'll be so fine with this strategy check out the day trades you're going to love those and um thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you guys in the discord